traditional crafts. Farming and stock breeding were the main means of livelihood of the people of the Smyadovo region. Some crafts developed as a result because working the earth demanded tools, plows, axes, picks, horseshoes for the animals, for the household, cookware, looms and other furnishing made of metal and wood. Wine matured in oak casks produced by coopers, while millers turned the corn into flour so that bread was always present on the table. Today the handmade objects and tools are replaced by modern technical household appliances. However, in Smyadovo traces of some craft traditions are still alive. Grandpa Kurti was born in the family of farmers in the remote year of 1922. He tells us how he chose the blacksmith's profession. His uncle was a military surgeon in Schumann. During one of his visits in Smyadovo, he convinced his parents to send the boy to study. He told them, Farming is a simple job. Moreover, one threatened by rains, droughts and hailstorms. If Kurti cannot become a doctor or a lawyer, at least he will learn a craft. In those years, studying away from home was difficult and the boy chose to become a blacksmith. In 1976, he received his master's certificate and later on met more recognition of his skills of shaping iron pieces. Most of the things in the home, including doors and window panes in Smyadovo, were made of wood, which was why carpentry was a highly appreciated craft. Some of this craftsmanship was obvious in carpenters' skills of shaping wood into art. Marin Marinov is one of their hairs, creating beautiful wooden sculptures and panels with biblical and secular motives. His wooden cross is a precise copy of the bronze crucifixion at the altar of the St. Archangel Michiel Church. Master Marin says that the wood grants him some of its natural power. In return, he infuses it with new life by carving fine figures and images with his chisel. The women also took part in the craft work. In Smyadovo, they were very skilled in knitting straw mats. They selected the strongest and whitest stems of the peeled corn. On their vertical looms at home, they weaved carpets that saved their homes from the cold and humidity. <laughs> 